Hi, Rob here. And today I'm just going to quickly show you uh, a program called Visual Jockey SP1 Gold. And we'll run it now. It is VJ software. It runs free frame plugins. It can be useful as a cheap and cheerful, quick and dirty way to um, get some interesting effects happening on your videos. So if you just keep that in mind, don't worry about it being uh, slanted towards the uh, VJ field. It's uh, actually quite flexible. So if we open a file, one I prepared earlier, you'll see the uh, effects here are already running. I've got uh, a configurable uh, module up the top where I've put my effects. You just drag and drop. This one's a media player and it's just running a screenshot. Check the other side. Same thing, except the screenshot is an AVI file. Okay, so you can use whatever software you use. You can create your, your uh, JPEGs or uh, PIG files or uh, AVIs or whatever and then just load them in uh, to the, the various effect players, the media player here uh, and you can then chain different effects and provide a pretty cheap way because well, I should emphasize Visual Jockey is actually provided free uh, just search for it uh, in your favorite search engine. Um, yeah, cheap and cheerful. It has alpha. Uh, you can play with the variables. You can actually link it with your sound. I haven't done so right now, although you can see down uh, bottom left, it's responding to sound. And you can make the visuals respond to sound. Uh, um, so as a VJ appl application, that's essential but for our purposes. I just want to show you a little bit about what it can do. I'll quickly show you uh, here is where you just click uh, um, to add the value. You set up the base or whatever feature of the audio you want to concentrate on. And then you set parameters and toggle as needed and you'll see it re will react to sound. Now I'll just leave it anywhere that looks fairly decent and move on. And uh, it's really as simple as that. If you uh, want to look behind the scenes you can click on the actual effect and this is that what's happening. This is the screenshot um, that's the AVI and these are JPEGs which are just floating across the screen. That's simply how I've set it up by choosing the effects on the left. And uh, here's another effect, a more polar uh, rotating effect. And again, configurable, change it to polar to rectangle, change it to wormhole. And there you see, that could be quite an interesting uh, effect on its own. Now, if that's all you wanted to do, you could have some titles there getting sucked into a wormhole, whatever. But you can do more. You can add, as I've done here, you can chain it, uh, chain in another effect, which is the kaleidoscope effect. Now, these are free frame effects available uh, fairly easily and cheaply. In fact, they're free um, on the web. So again, search free frame uh, in your favorite search engine and on the left you can see there's quite a, 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 a huge range really including 3D effects uh, and uh, the, the ability that it gives you to change your visuals uh, to take simple JPEGs and animate them is quite remarkable and um, 
well, I highly recommend it, obviously, and I have no affiliation to the people who have produced this. I simply stumbled across it, thought it was really useful, and uh, wanted to share it. Thanks a lot. Catch you later. Bye.